guys, my name is Elena. Today I'm going to teach you how to make some hors d'oeuvres or appetizers, if anybody doesn't know what hors d'oeuvres mean. Here I have the ingredients that I need for the first hors d'oeuvre. I have some strawberries, honey, which is, if you could see, it's very liquidy. Um, I have some grapes, uh, lemon, and some crackers, just regular butter crack crackers. You could get whatever you like and cream cheese and goat cheese and I know it looks like it's a lot of ingredients but really it's very simple to make and you're gonna love it once you taste it. First we're gonna take the cream cheese and I'm gonna say you need about two ounces depends on how many people you're gonna have over but I'm gonna have about two ounces in here then I'm gonna take the goat cheese and this is about four ounces and I'm also going to take two ounces of this and add it to the cream cheese. So half of this, you add it in there. You could, if you want to, use a mixer and beat it so it's more fluffier. Today I'm just going to use a fork and mash it all together. see it. You want to incorporate it really well. I can already smell the goat cheese here. Okay, next we're going to take a lemon and a grater and we're going to grate the lemon in here for the freshness. Lemons have a lot of natural oils so it adds a great taste and uh, a very nice and refreshing scent. So you don't need a lot. I'm going to show you. And then you want to incorporate this into it. And make sure when you start this you want everything room temperature so it mixes well. it. Next, what you could do is you could either take a spoon and spoon it onto each cracker but what I like to do it looks much nicer and it just has a nicer presentation is here I just have a regular cup and this is what you use to decorate cakes or cookies. I put it into a cup, just makes it easier to fill. Next, I'm going to scoop it in here. I want to take everything, or at least try. I'm going to do this, put this aside. Next really simple. You're going to love this trick. I'm going to take it and I'm going to try to move all of this consistency down to the bottom. Get all the air out of there. Just like that. And you want to keep on pressing until you see the cheese right at the tip. Next, what we're going to do is take the strawberry I already washed and dried them. You want to make sure they're dry because you don't want the strawberry juices flowing into the cookie or on top of the cream cheese. It's not going to be too pretty. So we're going to cut the top off, get rid of this, and then what we're going to do is take it and slice it. You don't want them too thick and you don't want them too thin. Slice them like this. This is going to have a nice presentation to it. Looks like a little arrows. I'm going to try one. I'm going to do a few. Like I said, it depends on how many people you're going to have. And only one slice of strawberry goes into the cookie or the cracker. Mm, I love strawberries. Okay, so we're going to have the strawberries right here 
And then for a second um, option, you could also have grapes. I like red grapes because the pop of color against the white is great. And I think they're much sweeter than green grapes, but it depends on what you like. So I'm just gonna slice them in half also. So it could be on the cracker nicer. It's just the presentation. It's all about that. But like I said, this is very simple. It doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to create this. Cooking is not that hard. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is take the cracker, put on your board, get them ready here, so you could have a nicer presentation on your plate. I am gonna actually place them on just a plain white plate. Um, it brings out the colors. And like I said, it's a very classy presentation, looks elegant. So what I like to do is take it and start on the edge and just go around. You don't need to put a lot because it's a pretty pungent cheese on the first one. Okay, now that we're finished with the cheese, we're gonna take that honey that I was talking about, put on your board. I'm just using a regular, actually it's a baby teaspoon for my little girl, but you're just gonna do this. Spread it across here, just like that. And then we're gonna take a strawberry and put it on top. Now how pretty does that look? Then you just place it on the plate and just continue assembling them. Keep going, I'm gonna show you the one with the grape next. Oh, I don't know, it's stuck. But like I said, put a little bit of honey on it. I tried to incorporate honey into the cheese. It doesn't taste as great. My husband agreed. So this is the way I'd like to do it the grapes, then you're just gonna place them. Like I said, it's all about the presentation. There we go. And just continue assembling all the rest of them. If you like to pick it up and do it, if it's easier for you, then go ahead. For me, it's easier this way. You know, the first time I made these for my husband, my husband hates honey. But these, he devoured uh, literally in like a minute. So what you could do is just keep going like this. Just do a variety. Depends on what people like. Well, I'm gonna keep going. With the tanginess of the cheese, the sweet honey and the berries, they work so well. Trust me in this. I'm not a big cheese person, I don't even like cheese, but these, I'm gonna tell you, I do like. doesn't have to be perfect. And what we're gonna do is have I don't know if you can see it, but you could definitely smell the pungent goat cheese. actually not that bad so if you'd like in the summer what I like to do is also place a little leaf of mint on top the colors are beautiful it plays really well and it tastes really good there you go thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed that if you did please subscribe and visit us on our blog and I hope to see you soon thank you bye